Hey folks, Jonathan here. Uh, this ain't going to be a whole lot on this, but I uh, hadn't gotten much done. Been towing. Uh, seems like when the weather broke and, and it started looking nice, the phone just went to ringing and hadn't stopped. I've already got two lined up for in the morning. So uh, anyway, it might uh, be a little bit before I get get a video out but on the uh, on doing some work. But I wanted to go ahead and show a few parts and a few things. I'm going to try to make this short. I've got a little story I want to tell you. Uh, anyway, what we got, picked up a set of uh, coilovers. Now, a guy had bought these coilovers to use on his car, and he ended up buying a four-link setup that came with coilovers. So these are brand new. Uh, gave $140 for them, and they're a little stiffer than I want. Uh, we may change the springs out. Like I said, I've got a friend that's got uh, a bunch of springs so that won't be an issue uh, but I wanted to go ahead and get a set uh, coilovers are very 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 expensive and unbelievable the prices on some of them and actually $140 for these was uh, really cheap you know adjustable and uh, we can we can work with these they even came with a bag they came with the bags when he bought them but uh, anyway we probably won't have the chrome springs when we're done but not a big deal uh, they're a little bit long. I don't mind that because we're building the suspension the way we want anyway. Uh, I was going to go a completely different way and uh, just decided to, it would speed things up a little bit if I just went ahead and went with a set of coilovers. So we're going to run them. Okay, we also got our Delrin in today. Now this is a, it's a foot long, should be enough to make the bushings I need to make. And we're going to go ahead and, uh, and do them soon. And this is, I think, inch and a quarter and foot long and this is cheap this was uh right at eight dollars and fifty cents shipping and all so we've got it we'll get this stuff marked on our board too but uh, i wanted to show you a battery i picked up now a friend of mine brought me this and gave it to me he had picked up two of them and kept the other one now this is a rock battery and they actually make these in rockingham and this is 12 volt and 16 volt. Now this is a lead acid battery, but it's made a little different. It's uh, sealed, and you know they're they're known to be really good batteries. And I know a guy that's been running one for seven years, and he said that he's never had an issue. And uh, we can use uh, we'll pick up a little DC 16 volt charger and just probably keep this thing charged. I don't. We may run all night or just run it on 12 volt side. But what you do is you run 12 volts for your lights, your gauges, everything. And then you run 16 volt to your starter and so that's what we're going to run and uh, I like it it's kind of heavy but you know it's probably as heavy as a regular battery but it will uh, it should do us good start it good and everything and uh, you know I know I don't need this to run that particular engine but we're, like I said we're going to get a baseline on this by running the stock engine uh, I want everybody to be able to see what you know what you can actually do with a even just a stock truck engine, you know, well stocked besides cam and intake, and it's got too much intake on it, you know, for what it is, but, and then uh, we're probably going to end up building that engine or another big block that I've got, but, you know, that'll be in the future. We're not worried about that right now, uh, but anyway, that's what we're using. It was free, uh, you know, another one of the friend deals where I, we do favors for each other all the time anyway, so, uh, picked up a rotor. Now, this is off of a three-quarter or one ton. This was actually laying in the scrap pile at one of the places I tow for, and I just wanted to get it to do some checking and measuring. Uh, this is the metric bolt pattern, so it won't fit. Uh, it's off just a little tiny bit, but I didn't realize that when I got it, but, you know, not a big deal. I mean, even if I wanted to use them, I could actually machine them, slot them out just a little bit, and uh, I could use it if, as long as I centered it from the center. But we're not going to. We're going to try to find something that fits that lug pattern perfect. And uh, But that gives you an idea of what I plan to use. And let me see. I think that's about it for now and parts wise. But uh, anyway, I wanted to tell you about something. I wanted to uh, just tell you a quick story. I'm going to try to keep this short. But uh, when, when I bought this land, I moved a single wide in here and stayed in it for a while. And I bought this double wide that I live in now, which is actually an old modular home. It's from the 60s. And anyway, uh, brought it here on the on the back side of the land and redone it, 
new floors, new walls, new ceilings, you know, all new plumbing and everything. And uh, when it got time that I needed to move it up here where the single wide was, you know, of course I got ready and hooked the record at the single wide and moved it out and moved the double wide in and, and went to bolting it together working on it. But uh, had a day planned, uh, you know, to set this thing up and, you know, you, you kind of in a bind because you, you don't have a place to live. So uh, I had two people here to help me that uh, happened to be family members and uh, in-laws, I guess you'd say. Uh, but I had two that was going to help me, you know, do the blocking and, you know, get it pulled together and bolted together. The way this thing bolts together, it's, you know, a pretty solid house. But uh, anyway, one of them decided they wanted to go uh, play golf, and the other one got drunk and passed out in the backyard. And uh, so I was sort of stuck by myself working on it. Well, a uh, guy pulled up the driveway and uh, come up, introduced himself. Turns out I knew, I've, I've you know, known his dad for a long time. Didn't know him. And uh, anyway, it was just a couple seconds later that without me asking, without him saying a word, he jumped in there and went to help. And, you know, it was raining. One of them miserable days where, you know, it's just, it's not rain, pouring rain, but it's just wet and miserable. And uh, anyway, so he stayed around, you know, for hours and helped me get this thing finished up and set up uh, and stayed till the end. Anyway, I'd, I'd never met him before that, and uh, some of you may know who he is. Uh, his name's Bobby. And uh, so if you wonder why I didn't have a problem with jumping on that truck and getting it done. So now you know the rest of the story. Appreciate everybody watching. Until next time, bye.